You know, I think they've been noodling this idea around for a while. Uh, like most things, you know, it takes a while for it to percolate. And, um, you know, I mean, it's not like we're going to be doing anything at 11 o'clock or whatever time they're going. So uh, I think it's a great thing. It's just uh, it's great for the sport, first and foremost. Uh, and I have to be a wrestling fan. Uh, I'm not an expert by any stretch. I'm not even a novice, but I really enjoy it. And I uh, have tremendous respect, like I do, for all the coaches on our campus. Uh, Tom, all, all those guys really just do a great job. So, but it, it's great for the sport of college wrestling, which is, I think, one of the premier sports there is. Uh, and it's, it's, I understand Oklahoma State was very receptive to it. That, that could have been an issue as well. And uh, so it's just a win-win situation. And for them to do it in Kennedy Stadium, make history there, why not? I think it's just a fantastic thing for the university. Where, where did your respect for wrestling come from? I think it's something you've always carried me been here. I don't yeah. Know, or yeah, it really began. Uh, my first uh, competition would have been January. You can look it up, but I think it was January. I'm pretty sure it was maybe February, but it was in the winter of uh, 1982. I'll never forget walking into the old field house. And uh, first of all, I was amazed at the crowd. Uh, and then beyond that, it seemed like everybody in the place, 13, 5, whatever, would, would see. Everybody knew everything was going on, like every move, they're coaching every move. And, and, and I was just like in total amazement. That, that blew me away. Uh, but it was so fun to watch watch our teams compete. And uh, you know, since that time, I, you know, needless to say, I've had a chance to get to know Dan a little bit. And uh, you know, what respect I have for him. I had a chance to read a couple of books about him. And you know, it's just uh, he's an amazing. You know, I mean, we have a few Iowa treasures. Certainly Norman Borlaug, right on James Van Allen, uh, and Dan Gable, certainly one of those people. I mean, the guy's an icon, just an icon, a tremendous human being, a family guy. I just got done talking about Jerry Kill. I mean, you know, did it with Dan, Dan Gamble, what an outstanding uh, Iowa, an outstanding person. So, you know, if you like sports, I don't know how you come like, uh, come like wrestling. I don't know about competing in wrestling, but like watching it. <laughs> that's, that's, well, that's a different story. That's what a lot of your players said. A lot of players said, uh, yeah, I tried it, and I got out of it. Yeah. And Mark Martin Sandler had a great career. That, that's too tough, really tough to do two sports in uh, college. I don't know if you do it anymore, but Mark uh, did a great job with it. We had a lot of guys back in the 80s who would go over and wrestle. Guys were high, heavyweights in high school. They'd go over there and get beat up. And uh, as a line coach, I thought that was the greatest thing in the world to be in that, that environment uh, with that caliber of athlete and that caliber of coaching. You know, what, what a, a great uh, opportunity for our players. So it really, we don't get much of that anymore, but it was really a good uh, thing. I think they would have taken Riley Reef if, if he would have been interested, but that didn't work out.